Tina says when she was younger, she spent more than one Christmas without getting any gifts. Well, the loss of a loved one and a popular Christmas tradition in this borderland is bringing a family together tonight. KDBC4 news reporter Ramon Herrera has more. One of the biggest traditions for families here in the borderland is making tamales on Christmas Eve. But for the Contreras family, making tamales this year means so much more. The Contreras family has been making Christmas tamales for more than 40 years. You know, we get together, all our family, my brothers and my sister and uh, nephews, grandkids and, you know, all, the, all our family, the Contreras family. And this is basically what we do always on the 24th. Somos Mexicanos y, you know, that's the tradition. This year, the family is making tamales in honor of their grandmother, Maria Rosario Contreras. She died from a heart attack earlier this year, a week after her 87th birthday. I think it's, it's so much more special because it was really the kids, I think, the, the, ne the nieces and nephews and my kids that wanted to get together again and continue the tradition. And, so I thought it was going to pretty tough, be pretty tough, but it's been wonderful. It's been great. Great tradition is one that the family says extends to every generation in the family. What kind are your favorite tamales? Red chili, green chili, or, or sweet tamales? Sweet tamales. Though Maria is not with them physically, the Contreras know her spirit is in the kitchen with them. I think they're going to come out pretty good. I think my mother would be very proud of us. The Contreras family says tamales are so much more than a Christmas snack, but a tradition that keeps their family together and their loved one's memory alive. Ramon Herrera, KDBC4 News. And the family says they don't follow a written recipe. They just taste the ingredients as they go along. It's the same way their loved one, Maria, made tamales. Well, we could.